guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl tupo if you're new here welcome 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 please subscribe like comment give me a thumbs up guys today i'm going to show you two beautiful ways you can style the jamaican bounce hair so if you guys want to see how i achieve these looks please continue watching guys my hair is already washed and moisturized i'm going to be using my rat tail comb my eco styling gel my scrunchies my diana brush and this jamaican bounce hair it comes five in a pack and i'll put everything in the description below since when i tell you it is nice and bouncy you better believe me okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to start by sectioning my hair from ear to ear just a straight line exactly the way i'm doing and then once i'm done i'm just gonna secure the hair in the front because i'm going to start working with the back first today Anyway, so I'm just gonna take my scrunchie and secure the hair on the top exactly the way I'm doing And then I'm going to take some bobby pins to secure the hair in my sides just because my hair is a little shorter I just wanted to make sure my hair is out of the way. Okay I'm also going to be using this hair clips I'm Just gonna section a little section all the way to the back and then I'm going to use my hair clips to secure the rest of the hair away So I'm just going to start doing a basic corner going all the way to the back exactly the way I'm doing nothing serious is nothing fancy just like a basic basic corner going all the way to the back um if you really don't know how to corner i already have a tutorial on how you can learn sis i want you guys to learn how to corner because listen once you corner and you crochet on top of that it does stay for a long time so you want to learn how to corner but if you cannot really corner you can actually do a flat twist or you can do some boxes in the back or you can just you know crochet on top of your natural hair so i'm gonna do another tutorial on just me crocheting on top of my hair just for my sisters who cannot braid corner or anything like that anyway but while we're still talking sis have you subscribed to my channel don't forget to turn on your notification button so you do not miss out on any uploads because this channel is getting what I'm done braiding in the back i'm just gonna take my jamaican black castor oil and coconut oil mixture that way my scalp is really nice and juicy before i crochet the hair so the hair comes five pieces in one pack so i'm about to use four of the pieces what i'm going to do is i'm just gonna take it out of the pack exactly the way i'm doing and then i'm just going to section the hair out so on one strand i'm going to section it into three sections this place the crochet needle in open the hook take your braiding hair take the crochet hair place it on the hook close it and then pull it out so once i pull it out i'm going to make sure my fingers are ready to open that little hole that way i can get the hair place it into the hole and then twist my fingers place it in again and then pull it out so this way i'm securing the hair twice that way it is nice and secure it is not going anywhere i can jump run do whatever i am still secure baby i mean everybody's just gonna be looking at me like tupo when did your hair grow overnight <laughs> So I'm just gonna show you guys again, very, very easy. What you wanna do is you wanna start by doing the back. I mean, the lowest bottom of your hair. If you don't want too much hair, you can actually space it out a little more, but you already know your girl loves some big hair, don't care. So you already know I'm about to crochet closer, okay, closer together, especially in the front. I am going to be crocheting the hair very close together. And I'm going to show you guys again. I'm going to place the crochet needle in, open the hook, take the crochet hair, place it on the hook, pull it out. And then once I do that, I have my fingers open so I can go all the way down to the crochet hair, place it into the hole right there, twist my fingers and place it in again and then pull it out. Today's shout out goes to each and every one of my subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for all the love. I cannot believe we are here today. Guess what, sisters? We hit 600,000 subscribers. What are you kidding me right now? Yes, I am so happy. Thank you guys so, so much from the bottom of my heart. You already know how I feel about each and every one of you guys. Thank you so, so much. You guys are the real MVPs. I am nothing without y'all. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to each and every one of you guys. This is Easter Sunday. Happy Easter, my beautiful, beautiful friends. 
thank you thank you let's hit a milli i mean at this point it is up from here make sure you're sharing these videos with your cousin your bestie your mama and your aunts because sharing is caring you don't want to be greedy stingy or whatever you want to call it you want everybody to know two for one's hairstyles because baby you can rock from january to december every day switch it up switch it up every week you are going to be good okay <laughs> All right, guys, so once I'm done doing the crochet on the back right there, I'm just going to take my scissors and make sure I shape this hair in the back, okay? So I'm just going to be cutting it exactly the way I'm doing. Just make sure you're shaping it to your liking, okay? Not too much because you know your girl loves some big hair, don't care. And once I do that, I'm just going to take my scrunchie and secure the hair in the back and then take the hair clips just to make sure the hair is out of the way as I'm working with the front. And now I'm just going to use my water bottle. You already know. I'm going to section my hair out, making sure I have have the base of my ponytail right there and then I'm going to take my water bottle spray the hair taking my eco styling gel applying it to the hair and then using my scrunchie to secure it very very easy sis very beginner friendly anybody can actually do this okay when I tell you this style right here even a beginner a beginner who has never done hair before you can actually do this and you are going to come all the way through sis period using my Diana brush just to make sure everything is nice and situated baby when I tell you this style right here I'm already feeling myself before I'm even done period you already know my hair is thick so I'm going to start working into sections so I'm going to section the hair up taking my water bottle spray the hair taking my eco styling gel and applying that to the hair and you already know the slicking down is easy when I tell you 10 minutes 15 minutes you are done baby <laughs> If you didn't know what to do with your hair this spring sis you can actually rock this style okay because this style right here is going to come all the way through period once i'm done i'm going to work with the other side so the exact same technique sectioning the hair into pieces because you already know my hair is thick that's the only reason why i'm sectioning the hair into sections i don't want to stick the whole hair down because it's going to be bulky it's not going to be as cute i section as i go sis okay so i section i use my water bottle my eco styling gel my diana brush and then using my scrunchie to secure it very very easy sis very beginner friendly anybody can actually do this okay so once i'm done slicking the hair down i'm just gonna take my kiss edge fixer and make sure i lay these baby hairs using the brush that i got from amazon you already know what it is by now and then i'm going to be using my styling strips just to make sure everything is nice and laid and then i'm going to use my hearty silk scarf and make sure everything is nice and laid this is the hearty green scarf so you better make sure you check us out sis we have a whole lot of scarves make sure you support a sister buy a scarf or two so i'm just gonna show you guys how i did the top right here so i'm just gonna take the hair exactly the way i'm doing taking my crochet needle placing the crochet needle into the loops of this crochet hair exactly the way i'm doing so i'm just gonna place the crochet needle in and then take my scrunchie place it on the hook and then close it and pull it out so once i pull it out it does go into the loops and then i'm just going to secure it exactly the way i'm doing place it on my hair i still have um the styling strip on my hair just to make sure i don't mess up the slick down once i place it on my head i'm just gonna take a few strands out and then secure that going around making sure it is nice and secure it looks realistic it looks like it is growing out of my scalp And then once I do that, I'm just going to use my bobby pin to secure it just to make sure everything looks nice and situated and it is not going anywhere. And then I'm just going to start taking one strand at a time and then separating the hair exactly the way I'm doing. Very, very easy, sis. I'm just going to separate the rest of the hair. Taking my mousse just to make sure, you know, all the curls are coming all the way through or whatever. I'm just gonna take my scissors one more time and just to make sure I shape this hair really, really well. And baby, when I tell you this crochet half up, half down came all the way through. Yes, sis, I am living for this style right about now. Let me know in the comments below if you love it. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying it. 
Let me know if you guys think this is a hot style and Miss Tupo looks like she grew her hair overnight or whatever. Let me know if it looks nice and realistic, like it is my natural hair. Oh my gosh, I am loving this big hair, don't care kind of situation. And you already know, your girl gotta give you a few ways to rock this hair, right? I'm just gonna flip it to the side and we have a side swoop right there. And I love how natural it looks on the parting right there. It does not look like Miss Tupo got some corners or anything like that. Make sure you tag me on Instagram at Tupo1 once you try this style so I can see how you came all the way through, sis, okay? And I tell you, it took me 45 minutes and I was done, okay? So the crochet in the back took me about 30 and then 10, 15 minutes in the front right there. And you already know I gotta give you a little messy bun kind of situation. So I'm just gonna take the top part, go around, make this into a bun, and baby, it came all the way through. Yes, sis, I am living for this hairstyle right about now. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are loving it. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying it. All right, guys, so I already have these corners going all the way to the back. So I'm just going to moisturize my scalp with my Jamaican black castor oil and coconut oil. So just make sure you're moisturizing your scalp to make sure your scalp is really nice and protected or whatever. And then this is the Jamaican bounce hair that I'm using. I'll put the info of this hair in the description below. Very, very soft, guys. Oh my gosh. And I'm just going to section it into two for the back, guys. So I'm going to show you guys how I did the front as well. Okay, so this is the needle that I'm using. So I'm just going to open it, place it in my hair. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna open the loop right there, okay? Place the crochet hair, close the loop, and pull it out. Make sure I have my fingers in. Um, pull the hair in, so I'm tying it twice, guys, just to make sure it's really nice and secure. Okay, and twice is good, guys. You don't have to do more than that. And then that's all we're gonna be doing with the rest of the head, guys. Very easy, very beginner friendly. Anybody can actually do this. It takes me about an hour. It might take you a little longer, but that's fine, sis. Practice makes perfect, right? The good thing about this hair is it's very soft and it's bulky, so you can use like two packs. I used about two packs for my whole head, guys, and I have a, a pretty large head or whatever, okay? And actually, when you have it in your head, it's like really nice and bouncy, like natural hair kind of style, okay? This hair is very nice. If you love big hair, don't care, this is you, sis. Okay, so what I'm doing with the front is I sectioned the hair into three because I didn't want it to look bulky in the front right there. And it's easier too to look very nice and realistic when you get to the front, sis, okay? The back, I have it sectioned into two, and then the front, I'm sectioning the hair into three. This made it look really nice and realistic, like natural kind of hair. It does look like it's growing out of my scalp or whatever. So that's the whole point. You want it to look as realistic as possible. top right there just make sure you're doing the crochet very very close together so I'm going to show you guys again take the crochet hair place it on the needle close it and pull it out don't pull it all the way out right and use your finger to hold it and then tie it twice guys you're going closer to your hairline as much as possible that way it looks really really nice and neat guys it looks really nice and real why am i still talking sis have you subscribed to my channel don't forget to turn on your notification button so you do not miss out on any uploads because this channel is getting what <laughs> yes really nice and natural it looks like your natural hair you just did like a twist out or whatever that is why i love 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 this hair okay and how soft it is sis you don't even have to do much to it and it's really nice and shiny and then when i'm done sis i'm just going to trim the front and frame it to my face 
just a little bit. I didn't do too much cutting because I really wanted it to be really nice and bulky. I'm loving this big hair, don't care kind of situation, natural hair situation going on like I have a twist out or whatever. And I'm taking my brush. This is my Diana brush. Just making sure I give this illusion like it's growing out of my scalp, sis. And I'm also doing it on the side because I wanted to have like two part. And bebe, when I tell you, this style came all the way through. I'm loving this hairstyle, sis. I mean, Miss Tupo's hair grew overnight or whatever. This is a very nice protective style. Let me know if you guys are feeling this hair. Let me know if you guys will be trying this hair. Let me know if you guys think this hair is hot. It's hot girl style my hair or whatever. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please subscribe to your girl. We are moving. so much for watching make sure you share this with your cousin your bestie your mama and your aunt because sharing is caring and i will catch you guys in my next one bye